second heat of the club champ, uh, sorry, New South Wales championship, Seve, uh, all the way winner, mate. Nice job, congratulations, but it wasn't all that easy, even though you made, you had some massive leads there at some parts of the race. Yeah, that race is, it's never over until the fat lady sings at the end, you know, you can be five minutes ahead and then someone gets a puff and they take two minutes out of you, you miss a shift and big they're holes. on a shift and you, yeah, it's big, just big ridiculous. Holes. But the, you, you really decided you want to go east the first beat, so, and you did, you did it in a really nice way, you just chipped away because it was really dangerous to get in there too hard, wasn't it? You, yeah, well, you know, we sort of, our game plan was to get right the whole time. We did the first start and we got locked out on the boat end. So we were like, we'll be a little bit safer, try and get off the line, and then when we get an option to go out there, we'll go right and then just play that eastern shore pretty much the whole day, which is... Well, that did work, there's no doubt, and you, you skidded away. We had you uh, almost three minutes in front at some point, around the second time around or whatever, and it was all going your way, but then... You seemed to fall into a hole. There was a was it the third beat. Yeah, the you bottom stopped. arc. The bottom <laughs> arc. We um just near the I think it was the second run or whatever it was. We were coming to the bottom arc and we were on way and we sort of jibed as the breeze went hard right and sort of sailed into a big hole and sort of hard to get out of those holes. Yeah, Once you find a hole, that sort of cost us a lot. We lost probably about two minutes there, but it was tricky. It was oh yeah. It's a tough day. Course, <laughs> course six in the Watson's Bay always yeah, the same. Yeah. But uh, we we were impressed also with your. Uh, skill on the helm and your team's ability to carve a turn up that top mark and do the set and keep the thing rolling along. We've got plenty of vision of the other boats' attempts, but I guess, in all fairness to the others, you had nice, a nice carvey turn into that mark, but they're hard, hard manoeuvres, those 180, well, they're 360 degree turns almost, aren't they? Yeah, we sort of, we actually talked about it at the, before the start, we actually had the spinnaker on the weather side, so we jive set and it was on that side, which sort of helped us. I think everyone else might have had that on the lured side, which helped us a little bit, but no, it was good. So yeah, nice job. Well. Uh, finishes the first half of the season. So are you going to Hobart? No, no, I'm doing Hobart. <laughs> good boy, good work. <laughs> Cheers. Good on you, Savvy. Merry Christmas. So that's it, uh, folks. We'll be back. Uh, we'll get the pick the podium results up tomorrow on the, uh, on the site. And uh, for everybody that you won't be seeing us for a while, but Merry Christmas, everybody, wherever you are. Keep... Keep warm up there in the uh, Northern Hemisphere. We'll be t-shirts down here. See you in the new year. Bye for now. See the red shoot down there. They're just more than happy with this. This is a major park up here, was. Total park up at the first turn mark. Grant Rolls is not scared. He's just going to set a shoot anyway and see what happens. Where does that drag him? And you know what this is going to play into? For um, Chris Nicholson and Mojo, who <laughs> had to go back and restart quite late. Well, he's joined... coming in here with Breeze. And let's see him potentially go from about 12th or 13th, maybe up into 5th or 6th, you know, yes. And Thurlow's just stuck there. They chipped away at the shifts a little bit more than the other guys. You know, they, like when they had pressure and they were a little bit down, they tack and they weren't necessarily trying to bang a corner. They just chipped away at getting back to the right, where the other guys are sort of just trying to take longer legs. But uh, the boat set up's beautiful and yeah, I mean, of course we know they're, they're a class act and always a contender. The dream team at work, you saw how balanced and smooth they were there, just approaching that mark, uh, no jerky, no sort of thing, so Big Sammy just wheels that red shoot up the mast and bye-bye. Yeah, he's well, rolling. A little lift there and it's going to be very tight. Ooh. Ooh. No, Ooh. David Witt's gone over the... He's, he's clear ahead, he's clear ahead now, so this is a great little battle. Sure is. They're only the, uh, straight at us. Last place on the podium. So here's the uh, the, the crew work coming to the fore here. David had a couple of uh, not so flash ones. What's he going to give us this time? Gill going to town on his red shoot. Whoa! <laughs> Gary Phillips fell over there. <laughs> but it's a race for the shoots, isn't it? Okay, here's a dilemma. Uh, we're just watching in City City Maroon roaring down with his bow down. Cocko sailed into a light patch, tried to uh, jibe the boat and get across to him, and as a result of that, was in the tide. Who would have thought?